Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome back to part two of my let's play of Ama Yui Castlemeister trial version. When last we left off, Avaro dropped into a giant hole in, a, in some ancient ruins and landed on his head who knows how many floors down. Plus he's all bashed up from the fall. He hurts all over, but let's pick ourselves up and see what's down here. Probably nothing of importance. Yeah, this is perfectly normal. So what we got here is a girl sealed inside of a giant magic crystal. She's pretty and all, not moving in the slightest. So let's describe what we're seeing a bit. All right, back to reality. We can start with a short, with a stabbing pain in the head. Let's check, check, check. Okay, there's hot fluid I can feel with my hands and it looks like blood when I look at it. Hmm, I wonder what that means. So why didn't anybody tell him something that, like this would be down here? Gee, well, I don't know, maybe because they didn't know. That's why you were exploring the ruins. Now let's think about those other guys. You know, the ones who abandoned us when we fell down in that hole. Hope they're all right. So what should we do? What should we do? How should we meet, meet up with Kisnir and those guys again? Let's think about all the ways we can do that and just out on a whim, walk up and touch the crystal. Didn't I tell you this is some kind of doomsday device, Savaro? Don't go around touching things. They'll explode into a million pieces and kill you. Or not. So, with Avaro's touch, the crystal shatters and the girl falls out on top of him. And he, having fought a ball, battled with monsters, and then fallen down a giant hole, can't actually get her off of him. He can tell her heart's beating. How nice. But let's get moving. Except, she's too heavy for, you know, a guy who's all worn out to be picking up or even pushing off of him. In case you were wondering, that is the sound somebody sleeping makes. It's more of a cute, cutesy little sound rather than a full-on snore or anything. And so let's try shaking her awake. Maybe that will help. All right, she's coming around. Well, this is important, actually. She, quickly, she says, she has to return to the God's Haze. Remember that? The one with the image and the old guy talking about it? Anyway, that's all we're going to get. She's a bit sleepy, so she needs something to perk her up. So she kisses Avaro. Yeah, okay. And of our sight goes dim, and he passes out. It turns out she's a succubus. She sucks the life out of him, and he dies. But the game continues. Just wait. Oi! Okite! What a dork. Okite yo! So she's trying to wake him up. Oh, maybe I lied a little when I said he died. Just a little. A tiny bit. Smidgen. Hey. 
There's a mole on your boob. Uh, anyway. So, she's taken care of us and gotten us back to life and all. Yep, we're awake. Yeah, she was worried what she would have to do if we didn't wake up. Come on, do sleeping people not wake up often where you're from? Alright, she's excited to be working with us and wants to work with us really good and get along. Uh, okay, great. I'm always a bit confused here. She wants to know who he is. That's nice. Avaro wants to know who she is, too. Yeah, Havaro doesn't know what's going on here. None of this crap. So let's start with an explanation of what's going on. She's true. She's right. We did wake her up, so obviously she we obviously we did it for for a certain reason, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alvaro just did it because he felt like he had to. He didn't even give a good reason. He felt like he was being guided. Well, she's really happy to be awake and she's thankful to him. So, that's good. Yeah, she's got a cute, innocent smile there, doesn't she? Alright. Let's start with an explanation of what's going on here. Alright, first question. Are you alright? Anything hurt? Uh, I don't know, being out of shape or something, whatever. <laughs> so, what's funny? She's uh, flattered that our first question is to ask her if she's alright. But she's got a healthy body, so she's alright. Second question. Avaro's name is Avaro. What's your name? Yeah, her name's Fia. Alright, that's a name. We're doing good here. This question and answer session will yield endless fruits, we're sure. Alright, where are we? Where we were before, he wouldn't have been able to see the sky. Yeah, Fia picked us up. <clears throat> Excuse me, picked us up and carried us here. It would be a problem if we just stayed collapsed in that place. Yeah, good decision. Okay. Pretty impressive for a girl, girl her size to be able to carry an unconscious man, though. <laughs> Something that won't be explained for a bit just yet, but thanks to Ovaro, she's feeling really energetic. Is that so? Alright, next question. Ovaro's wounds have been healed somehow. Does she know anything about it? Yep, she knows she did it. With recovery magic, isn't that nice? Well, thanks a bunch. Alright, this question and answer session is going great. Next up, what were you doing down there? You don't know! You don't know. Uh. All right, amnesia. Great. And here I thought we would get all the plot resolved before we had to leave the first dungeon. Oh, wait. So yeah, parts of our memory are missing. Well, she doesn't know she's happy to be out of there. She doesn't know why. Anyway. 
だろうあそこに入ってた理由はわかるんだよね体を動かすのに一番効率がいいからうん。She knows why she was down there in that chamber I think is what she's trying to say She is most adept at moving her body Okay then Her body, huh? 私の能力のこと今は目が覚めたばっかりで力が足りないけどちゃんと循環させれば動くはずだから Yeah, she's talking about her ability. She's just woken up, so she doesn't have a lot of power right now, but when she's properly in order and all, she'll be able to move it easily. Okay. So she can't move her body well, but she was able to carry a grown man to wherever the hell we are now. Alrighty. So, I've all add some numbers together and figure out, hey, this power you're talking about, you mean like activating these ancient emplacements? She doesn't want, know what we mean by ancient, but yeah, other than that, yeah, that's what she does. Alright. So she says, this Guaracuna castle is able to move and it's also her body. All right, that makes perfect sense. Mystery solved, as they say. So the whole ruins move. Yeah, that's not even remotely possible. Yes, it is. Yeah, we're having a great logical conversation here. Because she is a god. And please enjoy this spiritual revelationary background scene. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, this is a I can't believe I'm stuck here with this insane girl scene. They look a lot alike, honestly. Oops. We don't believe you. No, no, we don't believe you. How the hell are we supposed to believe you? You're a little girl. I guess. Anyway, if she gathers enough faith, she'll be able to move her body properly. Great. So let's get moving. Now we get to decide what to do. Fia's got a plan. Fia and Avaro are going to enter into a contract where he becomes her apostle. Simple as that. うん。私みたいな神様もしくは同等の力を持ってる神格者が能力の一部を分け与えて補佐してくれるようにお願いするの。それが使徒だよ。Yeah, basically. If she gets an apostle, she can parcel out some of her power to her, to him. So, Avaro still isn't believing any of this. Yeah, she wants to go to the God's Haze, and in order to go there, he's, she's definitely going to need Avaro's help. And again, she seems to think that Avaro knew what he was doing and awoke her for this purpose. No, no. Have you been paying attention? Avaro did it on accident. So, if everything she's saying is true, what we're going to do is take the ruins and march across the kingdom with them. Okay. Now we know the plan. We're, so we get to go through Avaro's objections. First, Influus Kingdom owns the ruins, so we can't just go running off with them. That's like highway robbery, or castle robbery. And he wouldn't be able to find work in the kingdom ever again. 
You know, Alvaro wants to have, own his own workshop, and if he can't work here, hell, they might even execute him for doing something like this. He's definitely not going to get his workshop. Yeah, uh, she object counter objects that that's just strange. Yeah, but she does cut right to the correct part. The weird part is that it's her body and therefore she should be the have the ownership of it. Which is entirely correct. Yeah, if what she's saying is true, then of course other people can't just wanna walk up and claim her body. Hey, you've got a mole on your boob. Uh, anyway. So she's got a plan to deal with Avaro. Yeah, Avaro wants a workshop. Yeah, that's his dream, he says. Alright, here's her proposal. If Avaro helps her with her objective, Avaro can do whatever he likes with her body. Okay, now YouTube, before you go going off, get your mind out of the gutter, that's not what she means. Have you been paying attention to the conversation? Okay, Avaro, you too, get your mind out of the gutter. That's not what she means. Have you been paying attention to the conversation? It's like working with children. You'd have done better by Avaro's standards if you had said that first. So, yes. We can use her entire body as our workshop. Oh, thanks for figuring it out about 20 seconds late, Avaro. So this entire labyrinthian castle gets to be my workshop? Yep, yep, and if you find anything broken, it, she would really like it if you fixed it. <laughs> so that's what you are after. Well, maybe. Still a pretty tempting offer. He has to admit. A free workshop. But, we're still talking about the plan and he's still got objections. Next up, she wants to go to the Shinkyo no Sanro, the God's Haze up north. Uh, yep. She doesn't remember why she wants to go there, but she has to. It's absolutely no go. It's absolutely no good if she doesn't go. Well, if our points out, that's really unfortunate, but entry is not permitted. Entry is not allowed. It's a holy ground. And entry is, you know, completely forbidden. Hmm. Interesting how he doesn't even mention that it was nominally dangerous. Ah. Now she's all down because she can't go there. How nice to be able to explain things like that. It's all right. I'm a god. Yep, as long as we have that kind of explanation, we don't need to any more, do we? So, well, if that's all true, then I guess that checks out, he says. Well, he actually can't think of anything but objections, but he really wants this workshop. That's the explanation we get, anyway. Alright, Fia says that we've already got a contract going on. It's not the Apostol contract, but another one. Yeah, 
Avaro woke up Thea, and at that point, he entered a contract with the castle. Whatever that means exactly. You know, Avaro just goes along with all of this for some reason. Yeah, if that's what happened, I guess there's no getting around it. Basically, if he did turn a turn down Fia at this point, the game would be over. Yep. When he woke her up, she got a lot of power from him. She licks her lips. The kiss, huh? So you did suck out the power out of me, huh? Yep. She's not really a succubus? Hmm. So... So she was able to get a bit out by kissing him, but she needs to get more out of him, I guess. What she says specifically here is that she, she needs people to believe her in her. Yeah, she wants the first person to believe in her to be Avaro. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, if it's not Avaro, it's just no good. Mm, well. Now we get uh, into the uh, goofy ceremonial language. All right, he says, I'll do it. Well, they do uh, both have their own goals in doing this. But it actually worked out pretty well for them. So we get to call her Fia. So Fia gets, or rather, extracts a bit more information from Avaro. He says he just wants a workshop, but he clarifies it's not just having the workshop, it's also researching stuff in it and improving his techniques and spreading his awesomeness through the world in that method. I'm not really sure how he gets to that third part from the first two, but sure. Well, in this setting, I suppose it makes sense. The Meister series has been like this. Yeah, Fia says she's good at making connections with people, and that would be useful in running a workshop, so yeah. These two will, will work pretty well together. Something feels ticklish to her. Yeah, whatever. So. The contract is fulfilled. It is. The contract is connected now. Yeah. And now the two of them are connected. Oh boy. Alright. This is an absolutely unbreakable bond between a god and her disciple. No matter what difficulties may come, together they will overcome them. It is proof of a sw of a swore the yeah. a proof of an oath. Alright, 
Well, I'll just point out in this one, in Musubi, right here, that's actually what Fia is the goddess of. Right here we have Fia's profile. Right there at the beginning, in Musubi no Megami. Or the goddess of connections between people, let's say. This symbol is behind the title in the title screen. Alright, we're in this together till the very end and all that good stuff. Pro tip, save right here. Because this is the only way you'll get easy access to this. Okay, yeah, that's basically the promo video, which you could look up online, but if you want to watch it in-game, you can only do it from that save point. Chapter 1. The Castle and Connections and the Power Thereof. Alright, little cutscene here. This is Kisinir. Remember her? We fought alongside her and then she dropped us in a hole. Well, that sounds bad, but... Yeah, she's pretty impressed by these developments. Yeah, it's a good thing she had them all abandoned the place once the earthquake hit. Except for... no, what was it? That one guy? Was there one guy we left behind? Oh yeah, Avaro! That was the guy's name. Yeah, sucks to be him. He must be dead by now. Hey, that was the world map. But we don't get to enjoy it. Hey, I got a question. The wind feels nice, does it? Does that uh, mean on this body here, normal human looking body, or on your big ass walking turtle body? Not that she's ever going to answer that. So, we're on a giant castle turtle thing. 
アバロこれは遺跡じゃないよグアラクーナ城塞だよ。All right. Avaro called it a ruins or a set of ruins again. And Fia has to correct him. It's not ruins, it's Guadacuna Castle. All right, all right. Totally different from ruins, it's a castle. If you say it's a castle, it's a castle. So let's call it a castle. Yeah, so he's, you're kind of spacing out. What's wrong? Yeah, I'm feeling really drained right now. Yeah, that's an effect of the contract. On the other side of it, Fia's feeling really feisty right now. Okay, exactly. Avaro's power is now hers, and her power is the castle's power. So he was basically giving power to the castle. Great. That's a bit excessive. Hmm, well, okay. So. Yeah, basically, power is coming from Avaro and powering the whole castle. Isn't that great? Yeah, with this, Fia has lost her memory and Avaro has lost some of his power. But if they work together, they can head out together. Like one of those three legged lace races. Meaning, by becoming your apostle, I've become weaker. Hey, a new skill. I haven't explained skills a lot, but they come up here. It's right here. Drained power. Since we made that contract with her, we lose 10 fatigue points permanently. That's right here. Normally we'd have 19, now we have 9. Which is pretty harsh. Oi! So it's exactly right. <laughs> you unbelievable little dork. Uh, so, yeah. We get drained and she gets power and that's about the size of the contract. It might be just about time for what exactly? Alright, the castle's come to a stop. With just Avaro's power, this is as far as we go. So you've run through all of his power already. Ah, uh, he's so sad. You haven't even apologized and now you're talking about how to get more power from somewhere, huh? Oh, you want to go get more apostles like me? Yeah, she wants to clear up the fact that she only wants him as her apostle. Which is nice, I guess. Doesn't make Avaro too happy at the moment, though. Alright, other methods of gaining power, let's hear them. Having sex and things. Look, it's what she said. Don't look at me. <laughs> sex magic? You really are a succubus. Goddess, not a succubus. Still don't believe in her? Yeah, well, you've been kind of sketchy up to now. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a one clarification. So, the one doing the sex is going to be Avaro, not Fia, because... As her apostle, he's the one who does the stuff in order to help her out. That's a weird attitude as far as succubus, goddess, whatever you are. Okay, any other ways of grabbing power? Okay, number one method is to gather the prayers of the people. You mean this comes even before having sex? Then why did you say sex first? Well, whatever. Okay, in addition, if she enlivens the earth's the spirits of the earth, then she'll gather power a little bit. Well, a little bit's better than nothing. Alright, let's get it done. Alright, Fia wants to say that her power still is kind of disrupted within the castle, so we should probably start in here. Fixing stuff, he asks. She says that's possible, but there's also earth on top, so we could start with that. Enlivening the earth. <laughs> yep. Let's go do this. Now, remember this? This is the spiritual revelation slash I can't believe I'm stuck on in this castle with this insane girl page. All right. Let's go do it. You dork. All right, new ally. So this is the workshop screen, the castle screen. I'll call it the castle screen. Here you All right. There's an entrance to the labyrinth up here on top, so we should start there. Got it. Yeah, this is basically the castle screen. Right now there isn't much to do. Here's the entrance to the labyrinth. You can also click on these two for a little scr little snippets. But really the only thing we can do right now is enter here. Entering a map from one of the, the map screens pops up one of these. This here is the stuff you can mine. This stuff you can gather. Over here are enemies you can fight. You can see symbols for the treasures you can find. The enemy level is a, on average three. And here are some missions you can complete when you're in the level. So let's get going. Hmm. As she suspected, the spirits in this area are rather weakened. Notice that she's carrying a bow now. Yeah, she can tell that the spirits are weakened because she's a goddess. Yeah, that's how it works, I guess. You're gonna make them all lively again. You dork. But alright, we can work with this. Yeah, 
And here we have our third tutorial. I'm going to skip her tutorial and do my own. Oh, she's really pleased. As, our, as her apostle, we already know what to do. That's awesome. Actually, you should be a little bit suspicious, but hell. Alright, here we go. Our mission is to recover all of the the uh, weakened plants. We lose if we lose our main base, if 50 turns pass, or if all of our units die. This first and last are criteria that are always true, and this last one I accidentally didn't get once. But these are pretty easy missions early on. So that tutorial that I skipped from Fia. It talks about her and how she gets goddess level ups. Up here in the upper slightly right is the gauge where she measures her goddess rank. Once the gauge fills up to 100 in this case, she'll get her next goddess rank up and then we get to move on to the next plot point. The gauge itself is goddess power. It's called in Japanese Mega Ryoku. Mega meaning goddess and Ryoku meaning power. So I'm just gonna break those the English and the Japanese and force them together all wrong and call it <coughs> Mega Power! Lame gag, right? Well, don't worry, I will never apologize for it. So let's start getting some. First things first, of course. Gather stuff. Now, in order to get our mega power in this map, we need to come and gather these to revitalize the five plants we're going to find throughout the level. Now, I could march straight over there and try and fight this guy. But if I lose against him, or don't kill him in one try, which would require hitting three times in a row and getting a critical hit on one of them, then I would not win and I would be forced to retreat back one square onto this trap, which I don't feel like doing. So I'm going to bring Avaro over here. <laughs> I'm going to grab this treasure with Fia, though. Last time I played this map, I forgot to get that one, and I didn't get the whole map cover. And so, anyway, let's fight this guy. Probably. Yep. Those Dryadus are pretty tough. They take a while, a bit to beat down. Alvaro is a much better fighter than Fia is, especially at this point. Oops. I messed up there. Notice because the red enemy was the only character in the room at the time, they got control of the entire room and now I have to fight through it one square at a time, which means crawling across those traps. Very inconvenient. Or not. So you can go. Hmm. It's about time for another level up. I'm not going to do much safe scumming, but I'll safe scum a little bit for you guys. We're going to be using that over a lot. They are actually really useful. Oh, 
When I get a level up for my main characters, I like for them to get at least one attack power or one defense power. I won't waste too much time on it. On camera. Well, for that matter, I probably won't be playing too much off camera either. But I'll do it a couple times. You bastard, get back here. Now, looking at these stats, Fia would not be doing much since she only has 7 attack and it has 5 defense. Since it's defending, it has plus 3, so its normal would be 2. However, she has a special ability which will come into play. Watching up here at the upper. Shh! I'm trying to explain things. Uh, look, don't geek out about how Avaro is going to praise you. In fact, he's going to scold you for daydreaming when you're supposed to be fighting. Alright, up here. That is anti air attack. She has it right here. When she attacks something that can fly, she gets plus 5% to her accuracy and to her critical hit rate, as well as plus 3 attack for all attacks. So it looked like she was only going to do 2, she actually did 5 per hit. You bastards. Hey look, one attack. I'll go with that. So, they tricked us into stepping on the trap. Anti-air attacks for the win. Shiny sparkly dust. How nice. Oh. He got hit pretty hard by those butterflies. By which I mean he has a status effect on him now that reduces his... that status effect again. I think I explained it in the first one. I'm going to want to borrow for this room up here because there's another one of those trees. And they are a pain. Come on. Oh, damn you, Avaro. Right when I get you there, you decide to... Uh. Now I wonder if it's going to attack her. No, I guess not. Alright. This first time... No, well, since he got one attack, he can actually take them out in one hit. In one uh, exchange. As long as he hits all three times. Which he probably will. Oh. This time it activated a power. This is counter level 1. And it has a 10% chance every time it's the receiver in one of those exchanges. To not only dodge the attack, but get a counter attack afterwards. All right, Fia, let's see if you can do this. No, she can't do this. Well, if I gave her a couple turns, she could do it. Hell, why not? Look, just stand there looking stupid, Avaro. I want Fia to get some kills in because now she's one level behind. Oh. <clears throat> now we get MEGA POWER! Anyway. I want to give the experience to Fia because she's a level behind now.
that mystery card was will do various things depending. Well, it's random based actually. All right, retreat into here. Come to another plant for more mega power. Now I'm gonna have to get that one over there. Yes, exactly. All right. If we try and fight that guy with Thea by herself, she's going to get torn to shreds. So let's just wait for Avara to get back. Wait a minute. Oh, these things I forget all the time. You know what? Forget Fia's level up. We're going to have a power bash this guy in. Because Fia can just move all over the map and... Avaro can't. Alright, boss time. Yeah. Fia says it's alright because we're fighting together. Except you're on the other side of the map. Well, this guy's strong. He's the... He's the boss of the era. And as a result of that, he's going to have better stuff on him. Better treasure! Actually, without backup, he might have a hard time. Even with his stats as high as they are. Hmm. But what Fia came up here for is to gather more herbs. Hmm. Notice how Alvaro can only move two spaces now. It's because he's almost entirely out of fatigue. Recall, his fatigue's been cut near, well, be, more than in half. So he can't go too far without having to retreat or crawl along at one space per turn. And I don't want him to get stuck back there. Well, I guess it'd probably be all right. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't regenerate like the Dryads do, so... If I did lose against him with Avaro, Fia could clean up after him. Ah, hell, why not? Let's take a risk. Hmm. That's done to 4 HP, huh? And Avaro's down to 2. But I need him alive. So let's not get him killed. Hmm. Alright, this will protect him. And he can stand here for the moment. Wait a I minute, mean, I should have thought about that a bit more. Let's see how good she does. Yep, she's going to hit three times. Two or three times, probably. And since her attack is lower than the opponent's defense, she's going to do chip damage, which is one. But that'll work soon enough. See what I mean? Fortunately, we'll retreat. And we get another free shot before it attacks us again. Alright, sweet. One HP, one physical defense, and one magic defense. <laughs> this is an important... It's not a key item per se, because later in the game you'll get just tons of them. But it's a very good item for this level in the game. Which means we're going to use it just as soon as we get the chance. 
All right. So now we've arrived at the end. I want to point out, you see the question mark here, that means Avaro can get something there. But in the same place, Fia can't. This is because of Avaro's ability, engineer ability, the fourth part of which right there says that he can do mining. Fia doesn't have an ability that gives her mining, so she can't get anything here. And this is why I needed Avaro to stay alive. If he's dead, we can't get this. Anyway, let's claim our mega power and move on to the next level. All right, she's feeling a bit of power welling up within within herself, but she wants to retreat to a safe place before testing it out. All right, we completed all of our objectives. You'll see that our god, our mega power gauge, only has 50 of 100. But because we finished the stage and got all of those plants recovered, we get another set of, we get some more mega power in the amount of 50 right here, which will give us our level up. So our goddess rank goes up. This title here is what the title she had before, and this blue title is the title she gets now. So she is neither a suspiciously self-titled goddess, but a girl who got powers from spirits. Hmm. Oh. There's another function the titles have, which I'm going to show you as soon as I can, actually. Hey, I'll show you right now. Here on the status screen, you can see Fia, right below it, her title, Girl Who Got Power From Spirits. Down here, you can see the stats she has. The small cyan, the light blue lines, represent how much she has. For example, where she has seven attack, there are actually literally seven pixels right there showing her attack value. Now, the gray bar below it is the cap. If we continue to level, level her up, eventually the 7 will reach the cap. Looks like 14 or 15 right now. And then, no matter how many times we level up, she won't get any more attack. Until we get her a better, better title, which will improve her gray bars. And once we get to the final one, which will be in the full game, all of the caps will go all the way up to 100. I think that Avaro's title will change every chapter, but I can't guarantee that's true. But he has pretty but he has these caps as well. All the characters do really. These two are special in that they have special requirements for getting to the other next caps, but usually the minor more minor characters can change their rank just by leveling up far enough which kind of defeats the point of there being a cap to their level up stats in the first place. But, whatever. Alright. We managed to get her goddess rank up. So let's see what she has to say. Yeah, she sounds pleased with herself. So... Yeah, the spirits are delighted by these events, and their delight is transmitted to Fia, and empowers her a little bit. Afaro can feel their delight as well, although he doesn't get it. Yeah, yeah, he can. He too can use can. Use some magic, after all. Avaro? 
女神の美しさに見とれちゃった So she asks what we're staring at. Could it be that we've fallen in love with her goddessly, goddessly beauty? Godly beauty? Well, whatever. Well, no, actually, it's that mole. I can't tell if it's cute or some imperfection that will ruin you entirely, but I can't stop looking at it. Kind of like I need to poke it or something. You ever play a game where you and the protagonist just seem to be on the same wavelength? I really hope this is one of those games for me. Now, this is an interesting series of words. She says it's no good that he's doing that. That their first time shouldn't be outdoors. That's way too adventurous. But she kind of likes it that way, sort of. She isn't really clear on whether she likes it or not, but it's like the more adventurous he is, the more she likes it. But she has to say she doesn't like it because that's what girls do. <laughs> She's weird. Yeah, anyway, he's、uh, gonna tell her, well, I wasn't gonna have sex with you. Well, then what are you poking for? I don't know. Kind of like I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, just poking you without reason. That's about it. So, is she objecting to the fact she did it? Well, she kind of liked the bit of flurry stuff, but, but. But she wanted him to do it more so that she could go, don't, don't stop that. Yeah, make up your mind, will you? Anyway, I've always got to get us back on the road. How about the power we got from the spirits and all that? Yeah, let's test it out. She is such a dork. Yeah, Avaro was observing that, hoping that it would get a long ways. And he was saying, in life there are mountains and valleys, and he's like, can't you just tell me? So let's see how this does. Is that it? <laughs> Looks like it, huh? This face is going to be, please forgive me for being a useless dork face. Because, well, she's a useless dork. Alright. So if we do this, we get that much of a result. We're one step closer. Yes, yes, we are one step closer. Alright, let's do it again. Way, way, right away.、Mm. Well, yeah, the castle stopped, so what else do we do? Yeah, let's just keep taking one step at a time. Alright, I've always had enough of this. Enough of this talk. He's gonna get something he wants now. Remember the workshop thing? Remember that? He wants to build his workshop. Right now he's just got space.
Yeah, actually, this is something that will help you, Fia. I've got a plan. Alright, let's hear it. So, Fia needs power. So, if people believe in Fia, then she should be able to get more. Yep, that's the best way. Well, if that's the way to do it, then close to here there's a village. Let's start by going there. And for that purpose, we want a workshop. For one thing, if we have a workshop, we'll be able to put a, together an entrance to the castle. Well, yeah, we kind of want them to come into the castle. It'd also be nice if we could get out of the castle. And furthermore, if we have the workshop, we can do things for them. Take their requests and build them things. By being useful to them, they'll believe in you more. Well, at least it's worth a shot. Yeah, we've convinced her. You know, the way she energetically gets behind any kind of logic we throw at her. Feels like she could be... fun to play pranks on. Hey. Alright. <laughs> yeah, he says that it's nice to have an understanding lord like her. And she's like, don't praise me so much it makes me blush, but praise me more because I really, really like it. She is such a dork. Alright. Let's get to work. Come on, more praising, more praising. She wants it. Yeah. It's more fun to tease you, though. Let's do it here. Well, yeah, it's easy to get to. Alright, so Avaro's going to work on building the workshop and working in the workshop, and Fia's going to work on attracting people. You are such a goofball. Let's start by taking this good composition steel scraps that we got from that boss and you're using it. Alright, now another tutorial. What's this, four of them? This one is done by Avaro. It has a kind of funny joke at the ending, but... Again, I'm your... I... The words have left me. I am your tutorial, YouTube. Alright, we start with these plans. Plans for Avaro's workshop. There's not much we can do right now. I mean, seriously. Just this. In order to build it, we click here. The number we're going to build is shown right there, and then we click build in order to do it. Later on, it gets more complicated. An important thing to look at is right here is the materials it'll take when you have when you get your selector over it. And right there, it says good composition steel scraps. We need one, and we only got one, so we only get to build one of this thing. Yes, 
So with that, we built a workshop. Oh yeah, we are really fast at this. Next up, we're going to build a personal room. Probably best to call it a bedroom. But the Japanese actually do it does have a word that means bedroom, and that's well, the room it said is personal room. Yeah, anyway. And next up, in the Guadalcuna Labyrinth, we get another map we can explore. In order to get to the next point in the story, we need to do meet a few criteria, including to raise her goddess rank up to level three. In order to raise her goddess rank, we get mega power from various sources. One is to get it in the labyrinth, but also when Avaro is working in his workshop, if he creates new items, he, he gets a little mega power that way as well. So we got a ton of plans here. You can see right next to each of these new ones, you get such and so amount of mega power when you create them. But this one that we already created, we don't get any from if we were able to create more of it right now. Here, I'll do an example. This is a wood shield. Make one, and our mega power. <clears throat> Sorry, I said that wrong. Make one of these, and our mega power will go up by 20. Yes. And now if we make more, yes. we get nothing. Well, we get another shield. These three items you should probably pay attention to. These are hit point recovery, SP recovery, and fatigue recovery items. Right now we don't get a lot of HP or SP or fatigue points, so it's a little bit of a waste, but probably still best to use them all. Yes. And these other things require various rarer items. In particular, this will be necessary to advance the plot. And we're going to need Nendo. Clay. We're going to need clay for that. Yes. So, let's call it a day, YouTube, and I will see you tomorrow.